Hello, friends. Um, I wanted to share for the start of the new week a poem of one of my uh, favorite. I have a lot of favorite of one of my favorite poets. He's from the 13th century. Rumi. He was uh, not only a poet but also a mystic. Uh, and the poem is called The Temple of Love. The temple of love is not love itself. True love is the treasure, not the walls around it. Do not admire the decoration, but involve yourself in the essence, the perfume that invades and touches you, the beginning and the end. Discovered this replace all else, the apparent and the unknowable. Time and space are slaves to this presence. What I usually do when I read poems is to really um, read certain lines again and again so that it sinks in. And with this poem, that's really worthwhile. I I have the feeling that when Rumi would live in 2024, instead of in the 13th century, um, he would never have foreseen, nor could he, how true these words are right now in this present moment. Because the words that then stand, are standing out to me is, are the lines, true love is the treasure, not the walls around it. Do not admire the decoration, but involve yourself in the essence. And that's what I think nowadays life is a lot about the walls surrounding the decoration, uh, the treasure, the treasure being your own essence, your soul. Um, the walls around it, around this treasure, do not admire the decoration. Um, be because nowadays it's, in my opinion, a lot about outer appearance. People have to be pretty. You have to be handsome. Uh, it's all about what are you earning, which car do you drive, how many, whatever you have, stuff. Uh, but all these things are fleeting. There will be a day when you probably don't own a car anymore or, or a house. Everything can happen. So all these outer appearances are fleeting, even outer appearance. I was one, once young. I'm now 74 and it shows, you see? So, appearance is trivial to what is more important, which is the essence, as Rumi, Rumi says. And he goes on, the essence the perfume that invades and touches you, the beginning and the end. Meaning, when, when there is a moment, when there will be a time when you realize that all these outer things like are not important anymore, then the perfume of that knowledge will invade you, touch you. Um, even um, when I think it's, it's so saddening, sad that young people are influenced by 
stuff that's going on in uh, social media or whatever. Um, to be, when they are very young, to use all sorts of things to alter their faces or use makeup when they're nine years old or artificial nails, all because of the fear missing out, you know. There is a sort of, you know, you have to be one of, you have to, to be perfect. And when you are not perfect, you are often being abused. Uh, and, and that's really, really sad. Because it's not about appearances, it's about your inner soul. And do you know the feeling whenever you have met a very handsome person, for instance, a perfect film star or whatever, uh, and you get to know them, their character might be not so pleasant for you, in your opinion. So it's it's not the appearance, it's, it's the soul. It's the inner presence. And Rumi goes on, discovered, I mean, when you discover this, this replaces all else. Here goes my earplug. The apparent and the unknowable. Time and space are slaves to his presence. The unknowable is the fear. I, in my opinion, I see that as what we don't know, we fear. We fear death, we fear illness, we fear pain, uh, we fear suffering. We fear losing um, your loved ones, losing your possessions. That's the unknowable. Uh, the apparent in my, in my uh, ID, what Rumi is, uh, the word apparent can be uh, translated as death, because there's one thing certain in this life, and that is that we will die. Time and space are slaves to this presence, meaning whenever you find this presence, your soul, your inner soul, which is the same for all of us, coming from one source, the divine source, then time and space doesn't mat don't matter any anymore. I will read it one more time because it's so beautiful in my opinion. The temple of love. The temple of love is not love itself. True love is the treasure, not the walls around it. Do not admire the decoration, but involve yourself in the essence. The perfume that invades and touches you, the beginning and the end. Discovered, this replace all else, the apparent and the unknowable. Time and space are slaves to this presence. I'm wishing you all a lot of presence the coming week and lots of love. For yourself and for others. Bye.